If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you pause the video and try to answer the question on your own first before listening on. In this question, we are asked to sketch the region enclosed by these two curves and then to find the area between them. So why don't we go ahead and sketch the region first. So here are the two curves. We have a parabola and a straight line. And you'll notice that they are color coded. We can see that the parabola is colored in red and that we've made a little key over here to show that that red graph corresponds to the equation of that parabola. And then we have the purple curve, which is a straight line, and that is also present in the key here. The shaded region is colored in a dark gray, and that's what we're trying to figure out. Now it turns out that before we can proceed, we need to find the x-coordinates of the two points at which the curves intersect each other. And to find the x-coordinates of those two intersection points, we can set the equations equal to one another. So we're going to go ahead over here and set x squared minus 4x equal to 2x. And since this is a quadratic equation, we have to set it equal to 0. So we'll subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. That'll give us x squared minus 6x equals 0. And then we'll factor out a greatest common factor here, which would be x. And then we can take each factor and set it equal to 0. And the factor on the left-hand side is already solved. And then over here, we can add 6 to both sides of the equation, and we get x equals 6. So these are the two x values of the points where the curves intersect. And if you look, that can be confirmed just by inspection. We can see right here that they intersect at x equals 0. And then up here, they intersect, if we kind of follow it down, indeed, at x equals 6. Now let's turn to the formula that gives us the area between the two curves. And so here's the equation that's given in the textbook. A simpler way of remembering this equation is that all we need to do is integrate the top function subtracted by the bottom function. And if you go back and look at the graph, you can see that the top function, where the gray region is, would be the function that was colored in purple. And that function was indeed 2x. So when we set up our integral, the top function will be 2x. And then we're going to subtract the bottom function. And we can see that the bottom function, which we can kind of trace right here, was the red curve. And the red curve was the parabola x squared minus 4x. Now when you subtract that, make sure you leave a parentheses right here. And the reason it's important to do that is because we have to distribute that negative sign into the parentheses. So in fact, we're going to end up with 2x minus x squared plus 4x after distributing that minus sign. And then when we collect like terms, we'll have the 2x plus the 4x. So that's going to give us 6x minus x squared. So this is what we're going to be integrating. And we need our lower limit and our upper limit. We recall from earlier that the lower limit was x equals 0. And then the upper limit was x equals 6. Those were the points, or the x values, at which the two curves intersected each other. So here's our setup, and we'll go ahead and integrate it next. Now, when we integrate the 6x, we remember that it's x to the first power. So we have to add 1 to that power to make it x to the power of 2, and then divide by that new power. And then the same thing over here. We have to add 1 to the power to make it x to the 3, and then divide by that new power. And we put our lower limit and upper limit of integration here. 6 divided by 2, of course, is 3. So we can just simplify this a little bit. 3x squared minus x cubed over 3. And then we're going to go ahead and plug in the upper limit first. So the 6 is going to get plugged in. And then after that, we're going to plug in the lower limit, which is 0. And then we subtract those two quantities. So we've plugged in those limits. And you'll notice on the right hand side here in the brackets, because we have zeros, these terms will actually cancel out. And that's going to leave us with just the bracketed set of first terms. And then when we simplify this, we end up with 36. So if you have any questions about the arithmetic there, please let me know in the comments. But this indeed is the final answer, and that is the area between the two curves, as shown in the gray portion. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe and click that thumbs up icon. Remember that you can send in your own questions to the email address shown on the screen, and I'll do my best to answer them on YouTube.